So a lot of our um, word problems or application problems um, are going to be set up like this, where we're trying to find one of the sides of a triangle. We're given an angle. Um, you know, we'll talk about angle of elevation or um, things like that, and we're given some of the sides. So like the height of a mountain, the height of a tree, or how far away a, lot a ladder is from a building and things like that. So the first thing I like to do is I like to go around my triangle and I like to label all my sides. So this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse. Remember, I'm looking from this angle here, so that's why that's the opposite side. The next step I need to do is I need to identify which one of the three trig functions I'm going to use. So this particular problem gives us information about the hypotenuse and the adjacent side. So the trig function I want to select is cosine, because that's the one that uses A and H, right? So I'm going to set up my word problem, or set, excuse me, set up my um, equation as cosine of 19 degrees, because I'm given the degrees, right? Cosine of 19 equals, because it's cosine of theta generally, right? Cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be X over 9 because that's the information that I'm given. So cosine of 19, remember, that is just a number. If you plugged it in on your calculator, you'd be given a degree, or excuse me, a decimal. Um, remember, and make sure you check your calculator and that you are in degree mode. So what I can do is I can simply um, enter this in my calculator as 9 times the cosine of 19. And if I do that, I get 8.5 roughly. So my x value is just 8.5. So this side over here is 8.5. Okay, so this problem, this is just one more problem. Um, you might want to stop the video and try it yourself, um, but I'm going to go ahead and continue. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and label my side. So this is my opposite side, this is my adjacent side, and this is my hypotenuse. So the information that I'm given is about the opposite and the hypotenuse, so I'm obviously going to pick my sine function. So, because that's the one that uses the O and the H. So sine of 21 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be 5.6 over X. So I put this over 1 and I simply cross multiply. So x times the sine of 21 equals 5.6. And remember, sine of 21 is simply a number, so I can divide both sides. So x is going to be 5.6 divided by sine of 21. And when I plug that in on my calculator, I get x equals 15.6 roughly. So this side over here is 15.6. Um, as a little shortcut, if your variable is on the bottom, if the variable is down here in the denominator, you can divide backwards. So that's something that I remember, um, but that again, that's one of those little tricks, and if you're not good at remembering tricks, then don't worry about that. Um, then just go ahead and set up the problem like I did here and just keep uh, working through it. But if you like to do tricks, it's, five, it's always going to be the numerator divided by going backwards, so 5.6 divided by sine of 21.